when it comes to marketing, demographics is the first thing on my list. You need to have a good understanding of your local demographics, which includes income, age, and possibly location. These are some of the things that you should look at so you'll know how to structure your business. You'll know what type of client that you want to target because different clients will fit into different categories. So having a good understanding of demographics, population and location is a good place to start when you're looking for clients for your business. Just from my experience, multifamily homes or homes with more than one person living in it is definitely the way to go. Reason being, those households with more than one person, they're likely to get the mulch installations. They're likely to get pine needles. They want the shrubs trimmed. They want to stay on top of the grass, that sort of thing. It's more people in the house, so typically they'll have more money and they want more projects done. So just from my experience, multifamily is uh, definitely the way to go because they'll keep you busy. The next thing I have on my list is types of marketing. So these are some of the marketing tactics that I actually implement into my business. Craigslist, Nextdoor, Facebook, business cards, flyers, posters. All of these things are a good way to get exposure for your business. Um, you have to spend money to make money. So now is a good time to think about how much that you want to have for your marketing budget. So you'll know what you have going into. But um, that's very important, guys. You have to decide how you want to market your business. And whichever route that you choose, I would recommend sticking to it and hit it hard. So if you choose Facebook ads, run it up on Facebook ads. You need to be consistent with it. You have to stay consistent. And the same with Craigslist too, because guys are constantly posting on Craigslist. So um, it's, it's ways around it to get your stuff at the top, you know, uh, but you just have to kind of do your research and plug and play. But whatever marketing tactic that you choose, hit it and hit it hard. If you get business cards, make sure you're not just sitting on a box of business cards. Make sure you pass those things out so people will know about your business. When it comes to the marketing, don't wait. You want to start as soon as possible. For number three on the list, I have promotional sales. Guys, promotional sales is a good way to get exposure to your business. I'll make sure I leave a link in the description. I did a promotional sale last year for the 4th of July. Make sure you definitely check that video out. Um, and I'm currently running, I'm running a promotional sale right now for my business. It's a hundred dollars for any uh, spring cleanup, any spring cleanup, leaves, uh, shrubs, cleaning out flower beds, whatever the case may be. A hundred dollar promotional special is what I'm running now until the first of March. That way we can get the properties cleaned up now so when it's time to cut we'll be good to go we'll be good to go so that's one thing that i'm really uh pitching right now and it's it's been it's been pretty good um i have three jobs lined up for monday i'm not sure when i will release this video but i have three jobs lined up for monday off that promotional sale so that's something that you should definitely think about is uh implementing some type of sale or some type of discount in your business i'm telling you guys your people will love that Number four, the final one, choosing your ideal yard. How do you want to grow your lawn care business? I feel like this is very important, guys. I could make a, a video all its own on this topic right here, choosing your ideal uh, yard, because you need to look at your equipment and decide how you want to structure your business. If you have push mowers, then I don't think you should be trying to go after these three acre, two acre uh, plus properties. I think you should focus on the single family homes because you can knock those out in a reasonable amount of time. And you can do a lot of them versus on the commercial side for the bigger properties. 
sometimes choosing a smaller yard is uh, definitely the way to go, depending on your setup. If you want to have four zero turns, X amount of walk behinds, then go after those bigger properties. But you need to look at your equipment and look where you currently are right now and and just kind of decide like where where do I want to go? Which kind of yard do I want to target? And guys, don't be afraid to turn down business. If the job is too much for you and you can't handle it or your equipment cannot meet those expectations, then from my personal experience, don't take it on because it's going to cause more headache to you than it is good. If you made it this far to the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit that like button for me and leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys thought. And also, guys, I did land the contract with the church. I received the email on Friday. And I've been reading the comments. Uh, you guys have been asking me about it. and I did land the contract. So I appreciate you you staying on me about it to figure out if I made it. But yeah, I, I did. I, I landed the contract. So it's, it's pretty cool. Stay tuned. Be different.